like to send my deepest condolences to those currently experiencing a difficult time. I understand that a lot of damage has been caused in 19. And in many parts of the world, the Omicron variant is replacing existing strains at a significant rate. The same is true in Tokyo. As many of you, um, as many of you know, that Tokyo is a metropolis of 14 million people. Many of our residents have been meticulously taking basic steps to prevent infection, such as wearing masks and washing hands. And we have been able to keep the number of infected people to a minimum through these measures. And we will overcome the threat of the Omicron variant by making the most of the knowledge and experience we have gained through our fight against COVID-19 and taking proactive measures. Effectively to the Omicron variant, we strengthened the system for provision of health care services this month. And we have secured approximately 6,900 beds these days, mainly for those who suffer from severe symptoms. And we also ha uh, we are also currently increasing designated hotels for asymptomatic uh, patients or those with mild symptoms. We would expect to secure 11,000 rooms, including national government and uh, government facilities and plan to increase this number. In many of these facilities, robots are working to support patients. Since the number of people who have received the first and second vaccine in Japan is comparatively higher than other countries. The number of Tokyo residents over the age of 12 who have received their first vaccination and their second vaccination are both about 85% respectively. And we have already started providing booster shots for frontline medical professionals and el elderly people in general ahead of, ahead of schedule. And we have strongly requested the national government to ensure that we have the necessary amount of vaccines available for all as soon as possible. Starting, starting last Friday, uh, which is uh, January 21st, priority prevent preventative measures were enacted for Tokyo. We need to return to basics once more, reducing contact between people as much as possible by eliminating high-risk situations like eating and drinking together at night and breaking the, the chain of infection. Residents are requested to refrain from non-essential outings and businesses to shorten their hours. At the same time, we are encouraging further basic infection control measures such as uh, avoiding crowds, washing hands, wearing masks, properly, and proper uh, ventilation. At the same time, we are thinking of linking infection prevention measures to new growth in Tokyo and Japan. For example, we are strongly promoting working from home. Also, we will vastly accelerate digitalization of Tokyo. As a matter of fact, one of the top CEOs of major mobile phone companies. And these efforts will not only contribute to the prevention of the spread of COVID-19, but will also serve as a foundation, uh, foundation that support the new growth of Tokyo and Japan.